they might have been confused and thought it was still summer, at least <laughs> earlier today. I could certainly understand that confusion. I mean, it felt like it was 94 degrees oh, this afternoon in Sioux City. We certainly saw that temperature rise into summer-like heat. 89, the official high temperature at the Sioux Gateway Airport today, 66 for the low. You can find that we were fairly close to that record high temperature from 1897 of 92 degrees in Sioux City. We'll get a check of current conditions now down at the Sioux Gateway Airport. The temperature is 66. Northwest winds are cruising through at 15 miles per hour. That has trimmed a lot off the temperature here this evening as we have had the passage of a cold front now. 81% is our relative humidity with the dew point at 60. You can see that large cold front continuing to sweep through Siouxland to the northwest of it. It's quite a bit cooler now, 60 degrees in Sioux Falls as well as Yankton and O'Neill. Meanwhile, to the southeast, it's much warmer, still close to 80 for Carroll, Denison, and Audubon. 80 degrees, the current temperature in Omaha. We've seen a strong northwest wind replace the southwest wind that was present for most of the day today. Now sustained between about 10 and 15 miles per hour. Currently at 15 in Sioux City and about 13 miles per hour from the north in Yankton. So that will continue to trim down the temperature. As we look at our satellite and radar loop now, you can see that we do have a few strong thunderstorms that are continuing to happen at this time. Some rain continuing to push away into parts of Plymouth and Sioux counties just north of Sioux City. You can also see some additional strong storms which are continuing to work their way through Antelope County in northeast Nebraska. Just a little while ago, around 8.30 this evening, we did have a report of some one-inch sized hailstones down in Carroll, Nebraska. That's near Windside in Wayne County. Otherwise, no severe weather has occurred, but some small hailstones have been witnessed with a few of these storms, too. Continuing to the storm cast now, it shows that we're going to have ample rain with us for tomorrow. Lots of precipitation stacking up over the course of the day. You can see that this will ease off a little going into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning with cloudy skies, but then one final wave of heavy precipitation looks to organize on Wednesday afternoon and then finally push away to the northeast by late Wednesday night. As far as our rain forecast goes, it's been fairly steady here over the course of the past several days, dropping between one and three inches of precipitation around Siouxland, continuing to hold on to about an inch and a half of rain in Sioux City. To the southeast, that's where we could see some really heavy totals. We're talking about three inches, if not greater, about 2.9 inches there on the ground in Denison. So we do have a flash flood watch out from the National Weather Service. This is going to continue through the morning hours of Wednesday, wherever you see the green on your screen. So there is the possibility of continuing to uh, flood out some of the roadways here in Siouxland over these next couple days. Always remember, turn around, don't drown if you happen to uh, see that as you're driving. 55 degrees, the overnight low temperature with thunderstorms moving through a north wind of 10 to 15, gusts at 25. Tomorrow we're on track for a high of 61, much cooler than today. Plus it'll be wet out there. Make sure that you have the umbrellas ready to go. A strong breeze and of course temperatures about 30 degrees cooler than today. So a stark contrast. Moving forward in time on the 9 on 9 forecast, up to 58 degrees on Wednesday with a 40% chance of showers. It won't be quite as intense as what we deal with tomorrow. 63, the high temperature on Thursday as we clear out the skies just a little bit, partly cloudy for Friday. Saturday morning, it looks like we have another shot at showers with a high temperature of 65. Following that, we can expect to have our skies clear out nicely as we continue into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Sunny skies and high temperatures right around 70. Already can feel the difference out there. Feels a lot cooler than it did earlier today. Yeah, even this evening, we started to have that cold front move in. The wind started to switch to the northwest, and it trimmed off about 15 degrees from the temperature right away. So it looks like uh, more relief is coming, if not a little on the cold side here going through these next few days. Yeah, don't expect the same thing tomorrow when you walk out the door. No, huge differences. All right, Scott, thanks.